Hello, you see that M110 is a hot topic lately. Actually, I'm just working on one now and I decided to put more of these frog tip videos. So in this frog tip video, uh, we will see how to take out the barrel out of the gun in order to place a precision barrel. This looks maybe a little complicated, it's just in case somebody wonders if to buy this gun. If you wonder if you want this gun, I know you want this. Just as a reference instruction how much effort this is to take out the inner barrel and for this actually there is a special tool by VFC, it looks this way. Nice. I know different manufacturers also make it. Maybe there is some standard tool used for whatever reason that plays similar role. I don't know, I have that one. It's a little more complicated than HK for 17s of course. So first you need to take off any type of the panel you might have on the side because we want to access these screws. This is generally for URX type of rails, so also the M110 K1 is similar, it has different screws basically. So we need to undo these. And the same on the other side, obviously the best is to just do it on the upper receiver alone, the rest is not needed. And I left the bolt carrier group out so that it does not disturb me so quickly. When the screws are out, you can take off the bottom rail, just pull it to the front and take it out. And what I like about this gun is, compared to other URX rails, is that you actually don't need to disassemble the rail from the receiver, there's no problem with alignment later on. Then you need this special type of key. If you look there is this crown nut that holds the barrel in place. It's hard to record this but generally the key has the teeth that will catch against that crown nut. I need to put it in and basically undo by rotation in this direction. Rotation by rotation, loosen it up until it slides completely from the rail. And when this is loosened completely, you can basically pull out the complete barrel with the chamber and the rail on the upper receiver stays in place. So this is what I really, really like. I remember in the old GP guns, the AGs, uh, it was a pain in the beep to really screw this in proper orientation. By the way, we can have a quick look here. I really like how they made this SR25 type guns because this hop-up adjustment is very nice. Uh, it's very stiff unlike the HK417, this rod does not bend, does not run away, whatever. And uh, you get really precise adjustments, so I really really like it. And right now to get into the uh, inner barrel you just pull this out. There are two screws, one is here. One is here. You don't need to remove them completely, just loosen this a bit. And the same on the other side. And when it's done you can push the barrel assembly from that barrel extension. And now there are just two more screws on this side. So pretty quickly. Let's do first this one. When it's out you can pull the plastic out. And this one. And you can open the chamber now. Voila! We have inner barrel with the hop-up uh, rubber and here is the arm for the hop-up. The latest type, this metal one, it really works well. If you ask me what to replace here, just replace the bar barrel. The rest is perfectly fine. I run it in all my guns, so no issue here. To put this back together you do exactly the opposite. You just need to remember about tightening the nut strong enough so that the barrel would not come loose. And first, this is, will not be possible to put the barrel all the way in uh, because you, the nut will not allow you, it will collide with this hop-up trolley or whatever. 
so you need to push it part by part by when screwing in the nut and it will go all the way in it and it will be ready. So that's all for this part of the frog tips. Thank you and see you next time.